Hello, today's daily reading comes from the book of the Apocrypha. We are reading from the book of Enoch, starting at chapter 103, and it reads as follows. Now, therefore, I swear to you, the righteous, by the glory of the great and honored and mighty one in dominion, and by his greatness, I swear to you, I know a mystery and have read the heavenly tablets and have seen the holy books and have found written therein the and inscribed regarding them that all goodness and joy and glory are prepared for them and written down for the spirits of those who have died in righteousness. And that manifold good will be given to you in recompense for your labors and that your lot is abundantly beyond the lot of the living. And the spirits of you who have died in righteousness will live and rejoice, and their spirits will not perish, nor their memorial from before the face of the Great One unto all the generations of the world. For that reason, no longer fear their insolence. Woe to you, you sinners, when you have died, if you die in the wealth of your sins. All those who like you say regarding you, blessed are the sinners, they have seen all their days and how they have died in prosperity and in wealth and have not seen tribulation or murder in their life, and they have died in honor and judgment has not been executed on them during their life, know that their souls will be made to descend into Sheol, and they will be wretched in their great tribulation, and into darkness and chains and a burning flame where there is a grievous judgment will your spirits enter in. The great judgment will be for all the generations of the world. Woe to you, for you will have no peace. Say not in regard to the righteous and good who are in light. In our troubled days we have toiled laboriously and experienced every trouble and met with much evil and been consumed and have become few and our spirit small. And we have been destroyed and have not found any to help us even with a word. We have been tortured and destroyed and not hope to see life from day to day. We hope to be the head and have become the tail. We have toiled laboriously and had no satisfaction in our toil and we have become the food of the sinners and the upright, unrighteous and they have laid their yoke heavily upon us. They have had dominion over us that hated us and smote us, and to those that hated us we have bowed our necks, but they pitied us not. We desired to get away from them that we might escape and be at rest, but found no place where we should flee and be safe from them. And our complaint to the rulers in our tribulation and cried out against those who devoured us, but they did not attend to our cries and would not hearken to our voice. And they helped those who robbed us and devoured us and those who made us few, and they concealed their oppression, and they did not remove from us the yoke of those that devoured us and dispersed us and murdered us, and they concealed their murder and remembered not that they had lifted up their hands against us. Chapter 104 I swear unto you that in heaven the angels remember you for good before the glory of the Great One. And your names are written before the glory of the Great One. Be hopeful, for previously you were put to shame through all the affliction and affliction, ill and affliction. But now you will shine as the lights of heaven. You will shine and you will be seen. And the portals of heaven will be opened to you. And in your cry, cry for judgment, and it will appear to you. For all your tribulation will be visited on the rulers and on all who helped those who plundered you. Be hopeful and cast not away your hopes, for you will have great joy as the angels of heaven. What will you be obliged to do? You will not have to hide on the day of the great judgment, and you will not be found as sinners. And the eternal judgment will be far from you for all the generations of the world. And now fear not, you righteous, when you see the sinners growing strong and prospering in their ways. Be not companions with them, but keep afar from their violence, for you will become companions of the host of heaven. And although you sinners say, all our sins will be searched out and be written down, nevertheless, they will write down all your sins every day. And now I show unto you that light and darkness day and night 
see all your sins. Be not godless in your hearts, and lie not, and alter not the words of uprightness, nor charge with lying the words of the Holy Great One, nor take account of your idols, for all your lying and all your godlessness issue not in righteousness, but in great sin. And now I know this mystery, that sinners will alter and pervert the words of righteousness in many ways, and will speak wicked words and lie and practice great deceits and write books concerning their words. But when they write down truthfully in all my words in their languages and do not change or diminish from my words, but write them all down truthfully, all that I first testified concerning them, then I know another mystery, that books will be given to the righteous and the wise too become a cause of joy and uprightness and much wisdom. And to them will the books be given and they will believe in them and rejoice over them. And then will all the righteous who have learnt therefrom all the paths of uprightness be recompensed. Amen.